You need to hear it again? Nope, I get it. Let's try one, see what we get. Let's do it. ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a lovely diagnosis. They make movies about it. No tests, no treatment. It's a disease of exclusion. Because Hamilton has excluded everything else. I haven't. What else could it be? Guillain-Barre, which would be reversible. Excellent. No. The progression of the paralysis would be symmetric. This wasn't. Transverse myelitis. Hamilton tested for it, negative. And he was negative for masses and AVM. Antibodies and could be attacking the nerves. Multifocal motor neuropathy. Uncommon, but it fits. It's also treatable. And Hamilton tried putting the guy on IVIG. No, because the MRI well, showed Let's no. do an MRI of our own. Guys, it's my case. ALS fits. It even predicts the pneumonia. The paralysis is progressive. It's a death sentence. That doesn't make it wrong. And I want one of them papers that say, uh, I, I don't want nothing done if something go bad. A DNR? Mr. Giles, you don't want to rush into... It's been two years. I ain't rushing. I want to sign one. Now. While my arm still works. O2 sets are dropping. Breath sounds? Junkie. Mucus plug? No, it's our mistake. Sludging from the IVIG. Blood can't get through to his lungs. Start heparin. 500 cc's IV push. He won't last long enough for it to work. We've got to intubate him. Stat. We can't. He's DNR. What? His stats are in the 70s. How long has he been like Ten this? Ten minutes. Well, why aren't you doing The something? IVIG put him in respiratory fit. You put him on the IVIG? We did this. So undo it. Chase? It's too late. We killed him. Nobody killed him. He's not dead. Chase intubated. He's staying on. What are you doing? You can't do this. Back. You can't do this. Back. He had a bad reaction to some medicine we gave him. What did you just do? He saved his life. It's over. I lost my air. The session the other night with those kids, that was a test to see if I could still play. I can't. And that's all you are? A musician? I got one thing. Same as you. Really? Apparently, you know me better than I know you. I know that limp. I know the empty ring finger. And that obsessive nature of yours, that's a big secret. You don't risk jail in your career to save somebody who doesn't want to be saved unless you got something, anything, one thing. The reason normal people got wives and kids and hobbies, whatever, that's because they ain't got that one thing that that hits him that hard and that true. I got music, you got this. The thing you think about all the time, the thing that keeps you south and normal. Yeah, makes us great, makes us the best. All we miss out on is everything else. A little woman waiting at home after work with the drink and the kiss, that ain't gonna happen for us. That's why God made microwaves. Yeah. When it's over, it's over. Yeah. What do 
you doing? It's not over for me. Either you're gonna call the cops again, or we're doing this. If you wanna die, you can do it just as easily inside an MRI machine. We found a blood clot in your brain. We'd like to start you on heparin. It's a blood thinner. What are the side effects? Well, your lungs are kind of chewed up from the pneumonia. Good chance there'll be an infusion. Bleeding? Uh, into his lungs. It's our best chance to give you back the use of your arm. I don't need my arm without my air. Well, the damage would likely be minimal. No. It's his call. Or we could do an embolectomy. Basically, we go in and pull the clot out. He's saying no to drugs, and you're recommending brain surgery? Bypasses the risk to the lungs. It'll either help your arm or... or it'll kill me. From your point of view, it's a win-win. OK. We'll set up the procedure for today. John woke up. He can use his arm. Thank you. Now, look, I know we've had our differences, but I think when a person does something well, it ought to be recognized. The phone works. Next time you want to make me feel all warm and fuzzy, leave a message. Don't get me wrong. I'm overcome with joy. Doug? Yeah. What? You just touched my leg. What, are you going to charge me with assault again? No. I felt it. How do we figure out which drug is doing the trick? Easy. Stop all of them. One of those drugs is helping him. And the rest? Steroids, antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, they're toxic. We leave them on all of them. He'll walk again. Yeah, to his own funeral. But if we stop everything, he'll get worse. True. Then we'll add our medications back one at a time. When he gets better, then we'll have our answer. And if he doesn't get better? Then we're in trouble. He's getting worse. Right now, you still work for me. Come on. No feeling, no wiggling. Bad news is John Henry's back where he started. The good news is Hamilton looks bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether the other guy loses. What's the first thing we put him on? Steroids for the pneumonia. I'll put him back on them. Give him 24 hours, see what happens. His lungs aren't great. It might cause another respiratory collapse. Sure, hope not. Do much like that lawyer and get an MRI. You already got one and an MRI. Well, obviously, something is different now. Do it again. Let's Chase take care of the scan. Cameron put him on the steroids. Oh, my God. It was on the spine. It wasn't on the MRI. Same anatomic location. It's not there. Well, what is there? Nothing. Or something that looks like nothing. Background noise, static. Scar tissue, inflammation. If it's inflammation, the steroids would have shrunk it down. Revealing the AVM, which has always been there, hiding behind its own swelling. We removed that, he'll walk again. Thanks for sticking with the case. I can't do anything else. You're much more easily amused when you can walk. How bizarre. I'm guessing that you weren't exactly Mr. Sunshine even before your leg got messed up. I want you to have this. I see trees of green. Red roses too. I see them blue. Wow. You can sell it if you want to. Just promise me you won't play. And I think to myself. How many of those pills you taking? I'm in pain. Yes. Aren't we all? So, uh, where do you buy these things? Do they have cane stores? Don't worry about it. You'll be jogging before you need a second one. See you tomorrow, Eric.